Well, we have had these bikes now for over a year. I just want to give a little update or review or what I found throughout the time that we own these. Hopefully that'll help you with your decision to purchase or maintain your bikes. First of all, I think you're going to want to invest in an electric pump like this that plugs in a wall just to keep the tires inflated. It's quite handy. Just turn the switch on. Away you go. Nice gauge on here. Brings it up to 40 PSI. You want the position of the seat to be close enough so that when you're fully extended with your pedal, your, your leg's not fully extended. So you still have some power. Next is when you're going on an incline, make sure your seat is in the right position this way so that you can fully put the support of your back in the back of your seat. You can push on that pedal and it helps gives you that torque to get up the incline. Next I like is this brake I'm holding here with my hand. So if you're at a traffic light or an incline or something and you stop pedaling, just pull that. It'll keep the bike from rolling. Push that pin down and it'll lock it into a brake position. Next thing you want to keep in mind when you're doing your bike setup, when you when the pedal's at the top and your knee's here, you want some clearance between the handlebar and your knee. So to adjust that, you got these four bolts here. Loosen those down and you can pivot that handlebar up or down. Once you find the right position, lock these bolts down, put it in place. Now one thing I had a bit of an issue with are these front reflectors and how to install them. When you put the nut on the back of the reflector in the hexagon shaped hole, then you put the screw in the front like that. It sandwiches that spoke in that groove. But what I found, because of the size of the spoke, to hold it on there nice, I kept breaking the reflector. So what I did to mount these, I used a zip tie. Put the reflector in the spoke, put the zip tie right through, tied it up and cut the end. I'll show you right now how I did it. Okay, you'll kind of find there's like two rows of spokes. You're gonna fit this between two rows. I got the groove on the other side here. I'm gonna line that up somewhat up with the spoke. Something like that. Pass the tie wrap through on one side of the spoke. Come back through on the other. Start it through the thing here. Then cut the tie off. You can see I got the big part of the tie here where I cut the tie, the excess tie off. And you can see how the tie wrap here got on the spoke and just grab that it's on there pretty good same on that bike like a year ago and that reflector hasn't moved these bike so far these bikes have had little to no maintenance the one thing i found if you have a short individual i got the seat all the way forward but it wasn't quite far enough to hit the pedals so what we did was put a pillow on the seat that way it'll scooch his legs a little bit more forward so he can reach the pedals what I did, I just velcroed that pillow onto the back of the seat so it can be removed depending on the driver. After riding for a little while, sometimes we'll get a little clicking noise in the gear. So what I did, the gear has a cable that comes all the way down to the gear mechanism on the back, on the rear axle. I'll give you an overhead view of the real rear axle here. What I did, I loosened the lock nut on there and rotated this just to tighten that spring a little bit on the gear and then gave it a test drive to see if the clicking noise went away. And sure enough, it solved the problem. You can maybe see the gear mechanism a little closer on this side of the bike. You can see this bike frame is pretty solid. It runs on a three quarter inch axle at the back. Everything's extremely strong. You got industrial chain, industrial sprockets, and again, the spokes on the tires are super heavy duty. The other thing we've decided to change is go from 
this plastic material pedal to a more heavier duty pedal. I'll show you how I change that. Okay, here's our old pedal. Here's a set of new pedals. Now a set of new pedals will have two different types of thread. One's a right hand thread and one's a left hand thread. And the idea is when you're pedaling, you're tightening that thread as you're pedaling forward. So, separate these. Need a 15 millimeter wrench. And of course on the left hand side of the bike, you're gonna have to go clockwise in order to loosen the pedal. Now you take your old pedal, you match it to your new pedal, and you ensure you got the same orientation of thread. Then put your new one on, go in the opposite direction, go counterclockwise. So you're going to want to go counterclockwise to remove the pedal on the right hand side. And again, make sure your threads match. Now you're going to go clockwise to tighten it on. There we go, there's a the pedal change right there. Our bikes are always stored indoors, but the other thing you might want to check a light lubrication on the chain just to keep things a little oiled things moving freely there's a lot of chain there's the sprockets but so far storing it indoors i haven't had to do that well i hope this video helps you either maintain your bikes or if you're th thinking of purchasing a bike maybe you have a little more insight of what you're buying i may decide one day to convert one of these to an electric get a conversion kit and do that one of the uncertainties to buying one of these, the old bike I had, my son never had to pedal. He sat in the front, I did all the work. So when it came to sitting on there, I wasn't sure if he was gonna pedal or not. But he caught right on. We get on there, he pedals. So I had to teach him not to hit the brakes. But these have been a lot of fun. Great addition, gets the family out. Well, thanks for watching the video. If I come up with some more changes on these bikes, I'll come back, do another video. I get a lot of people stopping me while we're riding, asking me questions about these bikes, and hopefully this will answer a lot of those questions. But it's a great way to get outside, socialize with some people. Great way for everyone to have some fun. See you in the next video.